Look at this thing. Silly Shell Magazine. If you missed it, these are the Silly Shells. They can hold a bunch of, bunch of darts all at once. Got a bunch of different kinds of them. Got 3X Elite, Mega XL, short cut and Mega XL. Uh, I think this one's Rival, this one's Mega. Oh wait, no, one of those was Ultra, because this one's the uh, Rival Shell. Anyway, a bunch of those go into this. This is symmetrical front to back. I haven't put any catch notches on it for insertion into a magwell. And this zip ties just because I didn't want to put in these screws uh, because I'm lazy. Um, this uses three drum springs. Uh, the follower is a little bit wonky right now, but I'll fix that. But it does feed the shells really well. There's all the shells. Holds six shells, this version. This magazine is printed in two halves. It's just this half and this half. It's printed up against this face and this face, respectively. Dovetailed in the middle to help out the uh, four screws. Uh, one, two, three, four. And yeah. Every once in a while, on the last round, it gets stuck because of that wobbly follower. But it just needs a little, little poke, and then it works again. And then you can also feed this or load this through the top, just by pushing the mag uh, lips out of the way, like so. And there you go. I think the follower got stuck at the bottom due to the uh, tilting that I was talking about earlier. That's why that's rubbing. Uh, still feeds just fine. As long as you don't drop all your shells on the ground. So yeah, there's that. So I'm going to be working on a uh, improvement for this in the next few days. This is zip tie. Can I get this off without cutting it? No, I cannot. Because I do want to show you guys the inside of this. There we go. So you can see that this has dovetails like that. And then I just slide them apart. And then comes apart. So you can see this is one half, tons of dovetails, and there's the drum springs that are at the top, and then here's the other half, and here is the follower with holes in the side for the drum springs. Uh, you'll notice that there are currently slots for six drum springs uh, in this magazine. Uh, that's just because I didn't know how many it was going to need in order to feed shells well. Uh, it might work with two, but I did it with three to keep this follower kind of from doing that sort of tilting and then falling off of the springs. Uh, I'll come up with a solution for that uh, in the future. But for now, very, very happy with this. I think I can even reinstall this just by kind of pushing it. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> yeah, that's all that I got for you today. Bye-bye.